This tutorial will discuss how you build your quality of life in the budgeting game. When you go into your budgeting game, you'll see one of the key components of your game score is your quality of life. Your quality of life points are added directly to some other metrics to get your total game score. You'll build your quality of life by taking luxuries and spending your weekend with friends and family and doing all kinds of fun things. In fact, building your quality of life is usually the exact opposite of saving money. Some of the key ways you build your quality of life is depending on how you choose your fixed expenses. For example, the more expensive of the options you have for your housing, cell phone plan, and TV plan, and meal plan, the more quality of life points you'll get when you have to pay those bills going forward. You can also build your quality of life by the actions you take in the game. For example, spending a lot of time socializing with your friends tends to build a lot of quality of life points very quickly. You can see here, I just gained about 50 quality of life points just by spending time with my friends on the weekend. You can also see here that my TV and internet bill is going to be issued on this day. Once that bill is issued, I'm going to earn the quality of life points I would get because of that expense that I've chosen. So you can see immediately, my quality of life points jumped up another few points. Building a quality of life is one of the less secondary objectives of the game. After you make sure that you've hit your savings goals for the month, month, that you've paid all your bills and your credit card balance is low, then it's okay to spend some extra money on some of the luxuries. Because the only way you're going to come to the top of your class rankings is by balancing both spending your money and saving your money. You can't win just by trying to save every possible dime. So good luck building your quality of life and that will help you out in your class rankings.